Okay, and we're back. And what do we have? A cereal box, Special K. Not as much fiber as I usually use for my journal covers. <laughs> anyway, I have marked it to be about a half an inch bigger right minimally we're gonna cut it bigger than that so I have a mark here and a mark here but we're gonna cut it bigger than that and I've left the thing just whole right so I'm gonna grab my I'm gonna actually grab this cutter right and I'm gonna cut it way well above well above and try to be careful to to do it okay so this is not going to be my spine right because this is where the cardboard is connected and glued we want the part that's folded to be our spine so this will be the back of it right so this is going to get cut off goodness gracious okay here we go all right and then down along this line This cutter I got from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay, now make sure not to cut that, right? We don't want to cut that. But we do want to cut it around, right? So we have made it bigger. That's going to make it easier. Cut that off. Right, and then this. There we go. And then we can trim it up. Sorry, I keep bumping. Okay, so we can trim it up, right? This will be our cover, the front, right? Or we could do it like this, right? Upside down, that's fine too. <laughs> but it's not gonna be that big because that's a huge cover for what, you know, our journal would be, right? So let's uh, just trim it. I suppose my cutter would have been much happier if I used my rotary <laughs> instead. Okay. And then we're just going to take, let's see, how big is this? Oh, we can take quite a bit off, right? So let's just say to here what would that measure at okay let's do it at six yeah six and an eighth so I had my lunch I made myself a sandwich so that was good and while I did that, I watched Tommy, uh, the goth crafter. She did recently, ju she just released her um, review, her glue review, her PVA glue review. So I'm, I was like super excited to go over there and check that out. Okay, so here we have and so I'm excited to try, I'm excited to try the, all the call all glues, right? So those those look good, and I'm always surprised at the reviews that Scotch gets, you know, for their stuff. So this will be our journal, right? So I'm gonna make it a hardcover, okay? But um, 
not a hard soft cover, right? It's just going to be a hard cover, but we are going to put the fabric on it. So it will have that. And then I found this lovely image to put on the on the front that I thought might look good. We will see. So first things first, we need to put the fabric on the cover. And is it Oh, look at it. It's barely Oh, it's just the right size. And you look, you can see through it. You can see that like the um that blue and stuff, so we'll have to we'll have to deal with that. Okay, so Let's see. Let's get rid of this scrap. Okay. We want it. I'm thinking I like to make it an inch, I think, bigger around. Right? So from here to there. And then we want to cut it. We're going to be able to see that. My sister was like, use a white marker. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so that it contrasts and I was like okay that makes sense like if you can't see it I was like that makes sense I will try to start remembering to do that <laughs> okay so an inch longer we want it cut here right okay that's good so let's do it I'm going to get my let's see we have our big uh, quilting ruler is what they're called and I'm going to lay it here like that so that it's even grab rotary cutter all right. Ooh, look at all that fabric we have left over. I'll have to make um, some pieces to go down pages. So we'll definitely have to have pieces that go down some of the pages. We'll put that with our other, with this vintage ribbon. Hmm? Okay. And now we need to cut this. Should iron it. What I'll do is once I'm done cutting it, right, I'll go iron it. Okay, so I've covered our cover with just white paper, right? I just glued some white paper, just plain white paper on the cover, and now we don't have to worry about uh, it bleeding through, right? We shouldn't get any color bleed bleeding through. It should look good. Yeah, look at that. And I um, ironed our piece of fabric, so it should be better than the last time I tried to work with a piece of fabric and I didn't iron it. <laughs> okay, so we want it here. This is where we want it to be. We're going to keep it lined up with this and then everything will be even. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to tack it down, okay? Because it's all going to get uh, sewn. We're going to sew it anyway. So it just needs to get tacked down a little bit here and there. Right, we want that like that. Okay. I want this piece here, and I want there we go. Okay, good enough. <laughs> anyway, yes, what was I talking about earlier? Oh, yes, the page by page with Miss Paintala. I'm super excited. So, um, yes, and then we're going to continue. The one with uh, Terry, we're just going to continue. So, and we're going to do a whole second signature, and I think that that will be a lot of fun. Um, again, we were talking about doing maybe like something different, like maybe like a list with like colors or I don't know something, but we decided, you know, let's just make it a two signature journal. Um, and I think what I'll do, and it'll be fun and it'll be challenging because what I'll do is I'll, I think I'll stick to the steampunky grunge theme, 
with uh, the one I'm doing with Terry because that has just been so much fun. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I did that. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's fine. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, and then I have these little charms that Lisa sent, right, that I want to use on the cover. Okay, so here is our cover so far. It looks great. I love it. All right, and we're, um, so yeah, I have these, right, these little charms and I kind of have an idea for them and yeah we'll put them on the cover I want to put this on the cover but we need to decide we need to look and see what the size we need is right I mean, we can cut it down quite a bit I think I think it can be cut down quite a bit it's pretty colorful huh compared to the rest of everything isn't it Yeah, I think that looks good. Maybe about roughly that size. Grab my guillotine. Yes, it's pretty dark, huh? Or it's pretty colorful compared to uh, the rest of everything, but it's fine. It's I really love this image, and I really want it on the cover. <laughs> Just going to ink black around it really quick. Okay. Just a tad. So, where do we want it? Right in the middle, do we think? Oh yes, it looks so good. We could do it a little bit down. Yeah, let's do it a little bit. Let's do it down near the bottom because I'm going to have some stuff up here, like I said, with the... Um, with the charms, right? Okay, let's just do it. Let's just go for it. It's not dilly-dally about such things. Or what? Prevaricate. <laughs> Let's not prevaricate. <laughs> I love that word, by the way. Uh, I'm going to try to, like, use it. <laughs> oh, okay, yay! Okay, there's the image. The image is on the journal. Good, good deal. So, uh, with our charms, I'm thinking... Let me grab this keep knocking I keep knocking it knock it well don't knock it till you drop it or I don't know something like that okay I love this this is amazing and can go right well but it's brown I didn't think about that you know this has black in it which is better because it matches with the black. I mean, there's some brown in the image. True. Ooh, I like this one. What do we think about this one? The problem is, will this show up? The reason why I want to put this down in the first place is so that it shows up. Let's see, I have this white. Right? 
right let's put some of this on okay and I think what we'll do is I'll wrap it around the whole way okay and then what you do when it's done when it's completely done to keep it from shedding because it is that um, right it's that it sheds you know it can shed uh, and the picture to keep the picture from fading I'll look I'll um, put a coat of gesso just clear gesso over like this piece and the image and then it, I won't have to worry about it okay so from here to here right and then we don't want it too thick how let's see our this little train is that big let's cut it here we'll just cut along this line So these are my Ginger fabric scissors that I have. I have demoted down to paper. Yep. They're about five years old. And I mean, I could get them sharpened. And can, I mean, Ginger scissors, they'll last a lifetime. But I want to get a new pair. These were kind of a cheap pair. They were my very first pair I ever bought. And so, and they're not the most comfortable on the hands. So I want to get a better pair anyway for fabric. So I've... Uh, I've demo so instead of paying to getting them go you know taking them to get sharpened I've decided yeah I decided that I would just um, get a new pair and demote those okay I'm gonna flip it around like this because we're gonna stitch around the um, cover anyway All right we're gonna stitch around the cover anyway so we just need to tack this down. Sometime today. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, let's tack it down along the other side. Doom. All the way along. So yeah, it's been really weird um, having the house to myself all day. Uh, it's been an adjustment for sure. Um, I'm sure my husband is much happier now with the security system <laughs> this new security system he bought <laughs> oh funny stuff all right so we have I'm thinking black ribbon is what I'm thinking so we want the train leading the way and then we have a caboose see here at the end and the black ribbon i'm thinking will wrap all the way around on this so let's see we have yes i have this thin black ribbon Okay, let's cut this so that it's easy to thread through. And we're just going to thread it through, in and out. Okay. Oh, wrong way. I want the ribbon going in this way because I don't want the ribbon in front of the charm. I want it behind. 
I don't know, I want it to sit behind. So, and then I am going to start my purple journal. So I'm excited about that. And then I could not believe, so then Lisa, oh goodness, goodness me, put on the wrong, I need to put the caboose on there. Lisa sent me a surprise. She sent me a little Halloween um, happy mail and uh, oh, I'm so excited. So, and it's funny cause she didn't even know that I was planning that I wanted to and was planning on doing like a little Halloween journal, but she sent me a little blank like Halloween journal like that she made. It's like a blank one and like a little envelope of goodies, like Halloween goodies to like decorate it with. And I, ah, oh, it's perfect. And so I'll show that, you know, at some point um, when we get ready to start the Halloween, the little Halloween journal. So I'm excited about that. But the purple journal is up next for sure. So that'll get started right away. Okay, so there we go. This is going to get glued on across like that. Isn't that cute? So I'm thinking we'll glue it up, up, up above and then I'll use, I'll use one of these, right? That it can like ride on top of. Oh, yay. Yes, I think definitely. Okay, so yeah, these definitely are all going to have to be pushed together more so than I thought, and we'll just glue it on there. And you know, just to make doubly sure, I'm going to use some of this Beacon all-purpose tacky on the back of the charms, just because. Ooh, it's such a... Ooh, it's such a hard bottle to squeeze. I really need to transfer it because this bottle is, it's ridiculous. Okay, so we have some of that on there. As for the ribbon, I'm just gonna use Fabri-Tac. I should probably use double-sided, but on top of this, um, I don't know, on top of this, like, oh, what is the name of this stuff? I'm sorry. I can't even remember the name of that stuff right now. <laughs> I'm all concentrating on making this cover. Okay, please stick for me. I hope I don't have to, I might have to stitch it. I might have to, I might have to go in and hand tack, like stitch it down. We'll see. Right, let's, let's um, roll our, our brayer over it. Put some pressure on there. Encourage it a little bit. Help it along the way. I think it'll be fine. Right. Okay, let's put the rest of this ribbon down. And I'm just going to fabric tack the whole ribbon. Come on. Okay, so for half my time is waiting for my glue. <laughs> uh, it dries out so quickly in this, in our, uh, it's so dry here, you know. This doesn't matter what I do. Okay. So there's our ribbon is on our cover. Oh, nice. I love, love, love. Okay, and then this needs to be dealt with. So I have this scrap here we can use. Right? Perfect. 
perfect. And we'll, I like to put a little tiny bit of glue around the edge, just again to like kind of encourage it to stay in there. I'll use my Cosmic Shimmer. Why not? It's being all friendly with me today. Okay, so we'll let that dry for a second. Put this away. Grab our, we need a couple of, uh, what are they called? Little brads. Oh, we could use these cool ones. Would they fit inside the, I think that they're too big though. Yeah, I don't think they'll fit. Okay. I grabbed the wrong one. Yeah, these things. These are brads, right? Isn't that what these are? <laughs> we need two. Two little ones. Here we go. Here's that one. I want two that match somewhat. Those two kind of match. That's fine. That works. Okay, let's put these aside. All right. This one here. This one got smushed. Okay. So it's going to go here. Let's see. Let's grab my book. And my big pokey tool. Let's turn this so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we want a hole here. Let's make sure it's big enough. Okay. And I lost it. <laughs> ah! I should have marked it, huh? I see it on this side. All right, so there it is. There's this one. So if this one goes here, then this one needs to get poked right there. Ooh, and while I have that there, I'm just going to stick the bread in there. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, awesome. Okay. There we go. And where's my little hammer? Where did, where's my hammer? Oh, here it is. I don't know where my other hammer is. Okay. So there we go. What do we think so far? Oh, look at it. I love it. So now it just needs stitched and then we're good to go. Um, do we want anything down the spine? Okay, so all we need to do now is stitch it. Um, I'm going to sew, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stitch around this picture, right? And I'm going to stitch along this edge here. Alrighty, so here's the cover, right? And now it just needs cover pages, right? So I uh, sewed around the, the um, picture and along the top. So we don't have to worry about that fraying.
Okay. So what what we need to do at this point is I have this uh, 12 by 12 page that I found and I'm not sure it'll be enough, right? Because I think you need two 12 by 12s to do, right? And it's, you know, it's a little colorful anyway, but how about instead, okay, what if we used these, right? Like, wouldn't that be great? Put that on there as a cover page. I think that would be really cool. Maybe we'll cut it here at Superintendent, yeah? Yeah. And then let's see. We may need to trim that down a little bit, right? That's a little, it's a little close. Okay. So I don't want this one. I want the other one that has the writing, the typing on it. Let's see. Here we go. This one. So yeah, we'll just cut them both at the same time. I'll just use my cutter. And we'll use this as our cover pages instead of that 12 by 12 since I don't have another one of it. All right, here we go. Why is this keep popping open? <laughs> it's annoying. Right. So let's put this one here because it's the one that says superintendent. Right. And do we want to ink it? I kind of like it just plain. I kind of really like it just plain. Let's just leave it. Oh, so I'm so excited to get this train journal done. I'm determined to get it done today. <laughs> so it's going to be what it's going to be, you guys, in terms of... Um, video and stuff like it is what it is <laughs> okay so awesome okay and then we'll put this one on this side and i'm gonna put fabric down the middle right i'm gonna put my um my carpet tape, which is always what I use for my uh, spine. They will gunk up your needle, so you have to be careful. That is one thing I love about Fabri-Tac is Fabri-Tac doesn't really gunk up your machine too much, I notice, compared to like a lot of other glues. And try and get this kind of I don't know somewhat maybe matching the other side if we can okay awesome okay now we need to deal with this so here here is this carpet tape I was talking about, and we might need two pieces, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, it's down. Once it's down, it's down. i am tell you, this stuff is so sticky. And you don't want to touch it or anything. It's just, oh, this stuff. It's really... Okay, and then we want to press it down, right? 
there we go see and it has that this like red string in it and it really reinforces like it really does but um, it can be kind of a pain to work with I found it by accident um, looking for framers tape I got the wrong stuff but I saw its potential and I thought you know this would work great for reinforcing the spines in journals like I you don't really ever have to worry about it falling apart really too much um, so yes I love this stuff it wasn't too expensive I found it at the hardware store Okay. there we go so where is that black fat here it is Okay, so I want to think, I, I think I want to use this if it's thick enough, right? Oh, it is. Look at that. That's perfect. Okay, let's just put that on there. I think. Just like that. You're not going to see too much of the spine, right? You only ever really see them in between the three signatures, so... But I like putting something down. I would have used that red, that red stripey fabric, but I don't have... It's not thick enough, right? That's the only... That's what I have left of it, too. Is Oh, wow, that's really on there crooked. So we put it on there straight from the from our straight edge. Yeah. <laughs> this is sorry silk stuff that came from one of those chindi rugs. That's what this is. Okay. Cut it here. So I was watching. Don't don't do that. Oh. I was watching um, some uh, I was watching movie trailers the other night. You know, just to see what was I like to watch movie trailers sometimes just to see what's new is coming on. And I got so excited I saw they're going to have so first there's there's going to be a new benedict cumberbatch movie right and it looks like it's about i don't know this uh, artist like this a really weird um artist i guess i don't know but i'm excited because it looks really good and he's like one of my favorite actors he's oh he's so good so um i'm excited for that one and then the other one is, uh, oh geez, what is this called? Um, oh, it's called My Son, right? And it, it looks so good and it's got, uh, <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, it's called My Son, and it's got James McAvoy in it, who, oh, he is definitely my favorite actor. Oh, my gosh. And he, like, actually uses his real accent in this movie. and But I guess they don't, they didn't give him a script, right? So it's a mystery, right? So the idea, the movie, the plot of the movie is this guy's son goes missing, right? But, you know, he doesn't know what happened to him, and there's all this, you know, turmoil within the marriage and all this stuff but he doesn't know what's going on so he and the actor wasn't given a script right so he kind of like he finds out what's going on and ad libs kind of everything like throughout the movie and it's all it sounds so interesting and such a different way of doing like a movie i feel like right such a different way of um so I'm excited to see that. That looks really good. So that's called My Son. And so I'm super excited for that one. 
Then what? Oh, I, there was a Jake Gyllenhaal movie. A new Jake Gyllenhaal movie coming out. Like a, and it looked like a proper thriller. And I love, you know, thriller. I love thriller movies. But this one is like about this 911 operator, right? And the whole movie takes place, as far as I can tell, like you're sitting with him, like going through these 911 calls and like, yeah, like he gets this specific call and, oh yeah, it looks, it looks, uh, yeah, it definitely intense and stuff. So, so there we go. We have a giant thick thing on the inside cover of our journal, which I think is going to be really grungy and really cool. I love it. And so it's done other than the fact that it needs stitched all the way around. So it needs stitched all the way around and then it needs sewn in. Should I dare try so showing how to sew it in? Um, I think I will. Uh, and we'll just, you can just go, come along with me along the messy ride of trying to stitch this monster into this cover. <laughs> but for right now, I'll be right back. Let, I'm going to stitch around. Um, I'm just going to stitch around him all the way. And then, uh, and then we'll be back to just sew him into the cover. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. The last little stretch, the long, long, the last little stretch <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it okay so um I love the cover I'm pretty happy with it um it's not bad it's not bad at all so we have our signatures that we need to sew in we have three of them okay and they're thick monstrosities of a signature of signatures so they're gonna go in like this right and I'm thinking what I'll do is I will go ahead and measure and mark I think that that's the best way every time I don't do that I regret it so we want them, what, a fourth? Yeah, a fourth of an inch. Yeah, a quarter, a quarter of an inch. Okay, a quarter of an inch. And then from each side, that's three quarters yeah. okay so right here is where we're gonna put our first signatures um, I'm gonna mark it with a pencil with a pencil? Do we want to mark it with a pencil? I don't know. Where's my white pen? How about a Sharpie? That'll, we'll be able to see that. Okay. So we want it in the middle here. One there. And one there. Okay. So that's how we're going to do it. And I'm going to measure it from here and then, um, yep, so quarter.
This will be fine, right? That looks good. In terms of where our signatures will go. And then, um, so I'll pr go ahead and pre-poke my holes because of the sticky. The sticky is a problem and it's always hard to get the needle through. Well, I'm going to pre-poke all my holes actually for this journal. I already know. I'm going to need to. Okay, there's our holes. Our holes are poked and ready to go. Looks good on this side. It didn't do too, too much damage to our spine of our uh, fabric. And now we're gonna do the first signature first. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I probably will not pre-poke my holes here. Nope. Okay, so where are my clips? And here's the other. All right, good deal. And now we're gonna need to clip it down onto where I need it to go. All right. Okay, we want it. Remember about a quarter. Okay, now that should stay for the most part. Now, in terms of needles, that one is kind of dull. Ooh, that one is very sharp, ouch. <laughs> problem is whether or not I'll be able to get the thread in. So I have this black waxed thread. I should get be able to get it in there. Looks like it. You kind of pinch it, right? Flat. And guide it through the hole and it's stubborn about it but we got it it's stripping some of the wax but that's okay okay so should I I feel like maybe I should hard to tell though, you know, because I didn't do it all at the same time like I should have. There we go. That'll get us started. Okay. Turn it around. Here is our Okay. <laughs> Come on. All right. Good deal. So now we just have to find this hole, which is in the lace, so it's kind of difficult. Found it. Oh, that 
that's way off. I bend a lot of needles, I'll tell you what. But who cares? They're cheap. Okay, so we're in. And it's nice and tight. Right? Cool. Okay. I can't remember if I tied it once already. I think I did. I'll do it one more time. Just for good measure. I'll tie a little. Okay, first signature, done. All right, I love, looks good. Oh yes, that looks great with the cover, with the inside cover. Yeah, okay, cool, let's get the next one in. So here it is, <laughs> it's done. Um, there's just one more thing I'm gonna do before the flip through and that's put some ribbon and some fabrics and stuff on some of the edges of the pages. Other than that, that's it. And I will probably put these tabs on too. I'll probably put some tabs on and that's it. That's all, it's done. Um, for the closure, I did uh, just two eyelets and put some ribbon to tie. Right, and here's the third signature all uh, sewn in and everything, right? So there it is. And uh, I'll have a flip through up a little later. Um, it's been an amazing journey. <laughs> it uh, turned into quite the thick guy. I'm really happy with him. Um, I will list him in my, um, in my Etsy shop, so he'll be listed. Uh, so when the flip through is up, the listing will be up. So anyway, um, thank you. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I had fun and I'm so happy he's done. So yay. Okay. Bye.